What's going on everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and it's a story as old as time. Please delete I am offended or perhaps more commonly, please delete somebody might be offended. In today's modern day Karen internet culture, it's an all too common practice where uh, people are forced to, whether directly or indirectly, uh, remove statements, whether they make them on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever it is, somebody's going to be offended somewhere, which is why I think more people should subscribe to I don't care. What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and it's a tale as old as time. I'm offended. Please delete. Or perhaps more commonly referred to as somebody might be offended. Please delete. It is a frustrating manifestation of um, uh, wimp culture. Uh, of, of millennials with uh, too many uh, things going for them in life. So they have to be, they have to look for something to be offended about. Imagine, uh, if you will, today's offended class uh, actually having to deal with something real. I mean, we see the, we see what's going on right now with everyone being uh, locked at home. They're completely melting down. Uh, internet Karen culture is one of the most frustrating things that has spun up outside of this, whether it's tattling on your neighbors or uh, uh, demanding people remove tweets, it's all been the same thing. And Samurai Showdown, which is a uh, fighting game known also as Samurai Spirits, uh, designed by FNK, or SNK, sorry, uh, accidentally made an oopsie. Yes, they made a tweet that somebody might have been offended about. Now, this is the same company that requires you to say that you are at least 17 years old just to visit their website. When you want to go to the SNK website, you have to click and say, actually, if I, if I open a new window, you'll probably see it. If I open a new private window, if I go here, Samurai Showdown, there. Section of this website contains some things that have age restrictions, recommended for 17. So you have to say this before you can even look at their website, uh, a website that is as bare bones as they come. Uh, you've got the Samurai reboot. You've got all sorts of information about the game, but that's not exactly what I'm here to talk about, although it is available on PS4, Xbox One, Stadia, and Nintendo Switch. No, no, no. They put out a tweet, everybody, and the tweet was... Uh, offensive? I don't know. Uh, Black Sage uh, put this up. Black Sage D. Black D Sage. I don't know how it goes by his name, but it's always it's great either way. SNK posted some really fun tweets about Aroa DLC release. Feminist FGC tournament influencer got mad at the post, and as a result, the official official Samurai Showdown account took them down. Now people are mad that they caved to a moral busybody. This is what they posted. So we look at the actual account itself, uh, Samurai Showdown, and then we go, uh, they reply, somebody posted that we are we all horny on main tonight. And then they retweeted an image of the rear of a character in the game. That's it. Like, that's it. I, I know you're probably like, what else was there? That's it. And you say, here's the post that got them taken down. And here's the influencer that wrote. Even though the ratio of male to female players in the Sam Show community is like 20 to 1, nobody has ever made me feel uncomfortable or feel like I don't belong, except the official Sam Show, sorry, Sam Show Twitter, which is wild because I'm pretty sure their job is to do the opposite. It's especially frustrating when what you want to see on an account is communication from the dev team on things that community the community is concerned about fair snk wc quals pc version broken lobbies future plans for rollback etc and are met with uncomfortable jokes oh not jokes no why please why don't make jokes these are scary times now, I'm sure this is probably the type of person that would be totally fine with this account making random pride posts or posting about uh, some woman's charity or some drive to uh, bring more polls into schools for story time. I don't know. But to me, 
it seems highly unlikely that this amount of outrage is warranted for a brand account for a game that is essentially for people 17 and older saying that they're horny on the main. And, and really, they're upset that they retweeted a butt. Which, by the way, has 12,700 likes and 2.3 thousand retweets. So, clearly, and to 341 comments. So, I, I don't think that we're seeing much real outrage. But leave it to, you know, here's Black Sage said, sadly, sadly, those are the values that the FGC don't stand by anymore. It's become a complete joke at this point. We got away... We got way too many Puritan moral busybodies trying to destroy what made gaming great. So as a result, we can't even make harmless jokes anymore. Uh, I think we have to tread lightly, carefully, but there's no reason we can't all get along. When it comes to an official account on social media, they are walking the line between being cool and being professional. Iroa is still in the game regardless, so uh, having to take down a post is no big deal. Oh, but it is, my friend, as Black Sage replies. It is bad, considering how much that was pure marketing gold. This literally was goodwill flushed down the drain because somebody couldn't take a joke. SNK really screwed the pooch here because nobody's going to buy the game now. They're getting ratioed. I mean, I'm sure people will probably still buy the game. But again, it's just like when we look at modern game journalists, right? Who who were outraged about boob sliders in... Uh, in um, uh, the volleyball game, I kind of think, Dead or Alive. Um, they're outraged by anime uh, sweater puppies, but then they said that uh, combining a, a, a taco and a hot dog on your character in Cyberpunk 2077 was stunning and brave. To have a slider, to have a super huge magnum dong or a micro peen was stunning and brave. But adjusting the size of somebody's chest is uh, is unacceptable. And, and then we see this. Here's Aro. I don't know who this is, but it's quite a long ramp. Uh, they play and apparently commentate uh, for Samurai Showdown. Nobody cares what any of you dudes think about the Iroa tweets. The fact is that I've seen at least three responses from women within our community that took issue with them. And that should be more than enough for us to ask for more discretion in the future. Three women! Oh my god. 12,000, 13,000 likes on a tweet. Three women offended. That's enough to shut it down. Would you have act, acted the same way if it were three men? I mean, I don't think it's bold of me. I don't think I'm taking a big leap here to say that I don't think so. They continue. These are our fellow competitors and fans. It's a no-brainer to expect the official brand Twitter to be mindful of this when making posts, especially if that means alienating the vocal underbelly of internet incels that never had any intention of playing the game anyway. Sure, bold strategy, Cotton. The old internet incels. I wonder how this has worked out in the past. How'd it work out for Battlefield Five? When they told everyone, don't like it, don't buy it. How's it working out for the comic book industry? How's it working out for the countless other industries that have followed the same pattern? You don't get it, do you? Yes, women play these type of games. But guess what? Women like good-looking women too. Even if not in such a romantic way. There is a This is marketing fact. That both men and women prefer good-looking women in their marketing materials. And I don't think it's that much of a leap to, to say that then they would like the same in their video games. They continue. I know that nobody means any harm when they say they had no problem with the tweet. But I think it's from the perspective of people who have had to bury their discomfort just to fit in around the historically male-dominated FGs. Jesus criminy. Statements like this invalidate discomfort. Yeah, guess what? Guess what? If 15,000 people like something and three people don't, tough cookies. This is the exact in type of entitlement I was talking about. This is a, a do-nothing, have-done-nothing generation of whiners. These people who have never experienced actual alienation. 
and never experience actual discrimination. Grasp at straws to try and pretend like they're being. I mean, this is a time of unprecedented happiness, even with everything going on. Imagine being locked down in 1920. Right now, we have high speed internet, Netflix, Hulu, video games on demand, endless catalogs, multiple new technologies, Nintendo Switches. We, there's so much awesome stuff out there to be happy about that these people look absolutely foolish when they pretend to be offended. This person continues, please make efforts to denounce wrongdoing if you choose to weigh in on the issues. Again, saying that you're okay with the picture is wrongdoing. Also, I commend everyone involved in the official apology. It takes a lot of guts to admit you're wrong. Oh my God. That's right. They did admit they were wrong. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Let me actually pull up that tweet and see how that's going. I believe I retweeted it. I believe I retweeted it. Yes, I did. All right. Samurai Showdown. A number of posts made by this account have been deemed inappropriate and offensive to members of our community. The admin in charge has been given a strict warning to be more considerate. The offending posts have now been deleted. Please accept our sincere apologies. Now, I don't know. Their t their Twitter is weird. Like I was trying to see. Sometimes Twitter doesn't t uh, timeline things. Oh, here. It's right on top. 453 comments, 371 likes. How did you see this going? How did you see this going? You people are making a mistake. Nothing was offensive and your account was hilarious to watch. Instead, you should be apologizing for unjustly warning the admin when that admin did nothing wrong to us and to that admin. What a disappointment. Seriously, it's surreal how the fact that just because someone's pro player of a certain game, that makes her a person of influence over the game. And what amuses me the most is how the company actually values her opinion more about a simple tweet than the opinion on the whole. And here you go. Here's the actual tweets. I think those jokes are fine coming from the community members. And if I don't like it, I can just ignore it. But from the company account, it sets a tone. I don't particularly like her design because I think it's uninspired, not because it's spicy. I've always been a fan of spicy characters, so it's not that. Really? Really? I don't believe you. You're, you're a fan of good-looking characters, but you're offended that the, the main account made a spicy joke? I don't believe you. I, I don't believe you. The number of people angry about this, everybody hates... SJW buzzkills, and get used to apologizing for there will be many more coming. It will never be enough. Never apologize. I mean, it goes on and on. They're just getting destroyed. Now, should they have said what they said? I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the target demographic for this game, but the no fun zone is in full effect. Now, I don't support people dogpiling this person, and I don't think you should, because ultimately it's the brand that bent the knee to one person who said they, were, they didn't like a joke they made. Imagine that. And we all know how this would have gone if a man complained about it. Crickets. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Oh yeah, get woke, go broke.